Jamaica Chronicles is about to take you through a captivating journey into the remarkable story of Dr. Leckie, a true Jamaican pioneer whose legacy has forever transformed the cattle industry. Stay with us as we delve into the life and achievements of this extraordinary individual whose groundbreaking work led to the creation of four indigenous cattle breeds in Jamaica. Get ready to be inspired by the incredible story of Dr. Lecky, the visionary scientist whose innovation and dedication reshaped the landscape of agriculture in Jamaica. Dr. Thomas Philip Lecky, pioneer Jamaican scientist, was born on December 31, 1904. He was the 12th of 13 children and grew up in Swift River near Buff Bay in Portland. Lecky was introduced to agriculture at an early age as his father was a farmer and as a young man he took an interest in livestock. Growing up on the slopes of the Blue Mountains and saw his neighbors struggle with poverty and poor farming practices, he knew he wanted to make a difference in his community. Lecky started his education at the Swift River Primary School. He later studied agriculture at the Government Farm School, later Jamaica School of Agriculture, where he received a diploma. He graduated from the MacDonald College at McGill University, Canada, in 1930 with a diploma in agriculture. In 1934, he set up his own farm in Jamaica, breeding pigs and poultry, but felt he was not using the full potential of his scientific training. Leckie continued his studies at the Toronto University, reading for his Bachelor of Science degree, for which he was awarded an honors degree. Several years later, Leckie read for his Ph.D. at Edinburgh University in Scotland. Leckie's research throughout his educational and professional careers focused on cattle. In 1951, Leckie's extensive research resulted in the first breed of indigenous Jamaican cattle, the Jamaican Hope, which he used as the basis for his Ph.D. thesis. Further research resulted in the Jamaican Red, Jamaican Brahmin, and Jamaican Black cattle breeds, Cows have been in Jamaica since the Europeans were in charge of the island. Christopher Columbus introduced cattle to the Caribbean region during the period of Spanish rule, and cattle rearing continued throughout the rule of the English as well. Because cattle were not originally from the tropical region, they did not always do well on the island. But Dr. Leckie revolutionized the Jamaican cattle industry with his work in cattle breeding, first creating the Jamaica Hope. This was Dr. Leckie's first attempt at breeding cattle better suited for the climate and rough terrain of Jamaica. He decided on using the British Jersey, Holstein, and Indian Sahiwal breeds. Jersey is characterized by its ability to adapt to climates and terrains, the Holstein for its high milk production, and the Indian Sahiwal, Zebu, for its tolerance to heat, tick resistance, and high resistance to parasites, both internal and external. With this... He was able to create a cow that would be able to produce up to 12 liters of milk daily, which tripled the highest breeder at that time. Not only that, the Jamaica Hope they found to be heat-tolerant, tick-tolerant, enhanced fertility, strong legs and feet, the efficient converter of tropical forage, high longevity, more than five lactations in most herds, and excellent dairy characteristics— the current breed of the Jamaica Hope comprises 80% Jersey, 15% Zebu, and 5% Holstein, and makes up for 80% of the cattle on the island. The Jamaican Red was developed from the Jamaican Brahmin and Red Pole cattle breeds, combining these two breeds translated into improved milk production without sacrificing the quality of the beef, which was the good doctor's intention. The mature bulls weigh about 2,200 pounds and females weigh 1,300 pounds. This breed has been exported to Central and South America. The Breed Society was established in 1952. As with all cattle in Jamaica, the Jamaican Brahmin also has a high tolerance to heat. They also easily adapt to different feeding. The Brahmin was also used in creating other types of Jamaican cattle, for example the Jamaica Red. When the British Red Pole was brought to Jamaica, it did not take well to the climate and had a grave issue with ticks. Mixing with the Jamaican Brahmin made it more tolerant to the climate and resistant to ticks. It also had the dual purpose of milk and beef production. The Jamaican Brahmin was also used to create the Jamaica Black. The Brahmin is mainly used for breeding and beef purposes. 
The Jamaica Black was Dr. Leckie's last cattle breed. The Jamaica Black was meant for the cooler areas of the island where other breeds did not do very well. The Black Aberdeen Angus from Scotland was brought in and combined with the Jamaican Brahmin to produce the Jamaica Black. The Black is one of the most difficult breeds to care for and is, of all the cattle breeds, the one most feared of going extinct. Leckie also contributed to the field of agriculture in Jamaica through the numerous professional posts he held throughout his illustrious career. He served as bench chemist, foreman at a farm school, farm supervisor, farmer, teacher at Homewood Technical High School, livestock inspector, livestock field officer, junior agricultural officer, agricultural officer, livestock officer, senior and chief, director of animal husbandry, Director of Livestock Research and Consultant. Leckie also has several publications to his credit. He published an autobiography in 1994 titled Cattle and I. He also wrote several papers that have been delivered at international conferences. Leckie was also the recipient of several honors and awards. These being 1959 Officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE, for meritorious and devoted service to agriculture, 1970, first recipient of the Norman Manley Award for Excellence. 1971, Doctor of Science, University of the West Indies. 1978, Order of Merit, Government of Jamaica for work of national and international importance. 1987, the Mutual Security Foundation, Outstanding Achievement Award. 1989, Fellow of the Jamaican Society for Agricultural Sciences and 1992, Induction into the Professional Societies Association in Jamaica. Dr. Leckie still remains a role model for many Jamaican scientists. He died in 1994 at the age of 90. In 1922, he won the Merit Scholarship and entered the farm school. The Hope Farm was run on a commercial basis and was an integral part of the school. It was developed as a livestock farm with emphasis on cattle, horses, and donkeys. The herd of dairy cattle was then developed by research and breeding and soon provided bulls for private farmers. The oh, farm was a lovely place to live in. As a student, you boy couldn't want any place nicer to live and work. In 1925, Dr. Leckie took up work on the Hope Farm as school foreman in charge of the livestock. His job that included teaching at the farm school.